Hi. Hey. We uh, collaborated on a painting, and it's about Crossnack, the person who, you know, you all thought Ian Crossland was. And it's called The Power of Online Video Communication. And, um, and I think that there's a lot of uh, misconceptions about Crossnack, and I think one of them was... Um, they talk a lot about this incident that happened, and I want to know if you know how it happened, if it did happen, if it didn't happen, if it's true, if it was just made up, and if it happened, how, how it made you feel. Okay. Was there a time where people invited you to a YouTube gathering that you went over there and it didn't exist? No. No. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. You don't? Wow, they said that that's what it was, you know, there was this rumor going on at the time that that, that was why you stopped making videos for a while. Oh. Yeah, and according to the rumor, what was going on is one day you were just uh, booking some uh, movie th tickets online or something, and you f saw that you had a joint up there on the, on the hutch of your desk, and that you couldn't resist the joint because you had stopped taking weed for a while, and then the joint was calling you, and you went for the joint... And so when you were doing video number 800 or something like that. You don't remember this? No. You don't remember I mean, this at all? No, who, who talked about that? There was a movie like that. Yeah, that, that too. Cross a movie? Yeah. Yeah, that, that was ages ago. Uh, yeah, that was, that was about cro uh, Crossmack. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you think about that movie? It was, I was really annoyed at first. I was like, oh, this is so good. This movie is so well done, and it's like defamatory. De or defamatory. How defamatory. You know? Yeah. And I was like, oh. In which ways okay. was it? Okay. It just made me look like a big stoner. And I'm, you know, that was just, I mean, I guess I projected that image but unintentionally. Wasn't Crossmack the big stoner? Not you, but him. Well, neither of us were stoner. I wasn't really a stoner. I just had smoked weed and decided when I was stoned, I would, it was inspiring me to make videos. But I wasn't getting stoned that much. I mean, but then I ended up, like, kind of falling into the category, the character. Being like, oh, I gotta smoke weed to do this. I can't do it without weed. And I was like, oh, it's not true. That's a very important difference because nowadays you see people don't know that you're no longer, you know, needing the weed to produce the actual video. Right. Yeah. You know, it's the ideas that I think they carry themselves. Though the weed THC helps get into that dreamy, like I can do anything. I can do anything that I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, and then, and then, according to that movie. Uh, you know that you were mad at that movie. That, w that you were mad at YouTube because you were invited to a gathering that didn't exist. However, um, what did you think about the you know liberties, artistic liberties they took with the story? Shit. Did it stop? Stop for oh, a minute. Shit. It's still going. Uh, what story? Uh, I'm gonna stop it here. We we'll just put them all together later. Well, it's still going. It's still going? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it just, it'll just, like, freeze for a second because it's fucking video driver, dude. I don't know why it does that every once in a while. Yeah. Every time that we make a video together, it does that at the end. This time it did it, like, in the middle. So what do you think of the creative license they took with the movie about your life? Oh, it's okay. I, it, was, it was a little disconcerting at first, but I, I figure... Well, what part of it was disconcerting? Just how, how, how well it reflected one image of me. But that was Crossman. That was a character. Yeah. It wasn't. But it was me. Like, I didn't go into it with, like, I'm going to be Crossmech. I was like, Crossmech is this my screen and my email address and everything. I was like, this is how I'll, like, uh, subdue myself. Or this is how I'll, like, submit myself online. Crossmech. So. But it was like, I, I like, used Crossmech to log in. But I was like, I got to help these people. I was, like, going through this change in my life. And I was like, I got to tell these people how to communicate. Or that we can communicate. That we can, like, break through this. Break on through to the other and side. Get to each other. But see, I hope that you now know that the world out there is not entirely comprised of victims. That you don't have to save everybody you meet. Yeah, now I'm... I mean, I haven't I've can given choose. up on people, yeah. I just, like, there are people that succeed and people that fail. In my mind, you can be one or the other at any given time, and some people... Would you say that the THC made you not see this and actually choose to just see everybody as suffering? Well, I would like, no, um, no, well, it depends. Like, I, I would see both sides of people enhanced. Like, and still, when I'm stoned, I, I like, I'm like, oh, the feelings, like, override. I'm like, oh, my the God. The world is falling apart. It's so much that it's so little. It's ah. like, uh, um, but, like, I would see the, the good in people. 
it, it's because okay, I, I really liken it to, to being in a dream. Like it's so static that the the logical connections don't make sense. Like it doesn't matter that you got to work tomorrow when you're stoned because when you're stoned, there's like too much static to, to have that connection. Though you might worry about it, you, I wouldn't worry about that stuff. I wouldn't worry about it if I had the power to manifest a storm that would cause me not to have to go into work. Yeah, when you feel like you're doing that stuff in the moment, you don't worry about like the other stuff. So, so I would like be in the moment, and which is the one of the great things that I learned from from using THC, almost you know abusing THC in some ways, like like really overinducing myself and healing myself. Um, was how to be in the moment, how to how to induce that static uh, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen. Okay, that was kind of kind of random. Carbon, what? I think carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen is the chemical makeup of THC. Oh. Twenty four carbons or something, twenty two carbons, twenty six, twenty eight hydrogen, something like that. Like uh, I'll tell you something. I'll tell the public here something they don't know, and that is I, I very very rarely do any sort of weed. In fact, I haven't even tried any in a couple of years. Unless since the day actually was the day that I first made a video with you here, that you offered me some, and that was about it. And I just had a little bit, but. My thing is, yeah, my addiction is a little different. <laughs> Speaking of, drink some of this. Yeah, okay. Dude, red wine. Mm. Like, it's so good for digestion, you know. It really is, dude. I had a big shit earlier after I had some. Yeah. Um, you say um, Ian and I use the same enema. And yes, we're trying. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. We're not paid to, um, we're not paid to uh, advertise this thing. It's just uh, our own preference. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, definitely. Mm. I want to answer your question. I feel like I didn't have Oh, sure. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I have like, attention deficit disorder, so... Oh, okay. Um, like, uh, I don't remember your original question. But something about helping people was my answer. Like, I went into it really with the intention of, of helping. Like, I've seen the good in people and seen the bad in people. Your very first video. That's, that's it. You, your very first video, you mentioned that you could see anybody on the street and talk to them as if they were your best friend. That's how you were seeing people. Yeah. Do you remember you, yeah. that you felt that connection? That was the very first Cross Mac video. Openness. That's, you remember the title? Yeah, Openness. I was cool. standing up with that cheap plastic... This mic, I don't know if I still got it. It's in a box. I guess you got a memento there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that mic, dude. Um, uh, what? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm speaking to Maggie on MSN. Hmm. Sorry for this pause. I'm being checked on by the... Maggie says, get me some chips on the way home. That's why she interrupted our video. And chips are good. And, um, I mean, animals are better than chips, but that's more of a... I noticed uh, it's, you know, one goes in through one side and the other go out the other side, but hang on. <laughs> fool. <laughs> she called me fool. Yeah. Fool. Fool, yeah. Give me some chips, fool. Exactly. That's the way women are. And women have this thing. Women always um, have this thing, you see, where they, they, they pigeonhole men. And that, that's, that, that's very in relation to what we're talking about with, um, with Crossmack and Ian being different people. You know what we should do? If we turn the painting upside down and do that. Let's see how people take I'm that. getting dizzy. Oh, no. Can oh, you take it? Uh, I guess I do. But, okay, in a truly bizarre moment in this video, Ian is more than one place. Ian and Crossmac. Okay, I'm sorry. Yin Yang. That's the Yin Yang. Should I turn it back? That looks pretty cool. Yeah. I'll uh, change it back. So, sorry to interrupt your train of thought. Uh, no, it, it's all right. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I guess it's been the ten minutes. Probably about seven or eight. Seven, maybe seven fifty or something. 
What is this song all about? Can figure any lyrics out. How do the words do we go? I wish you told me. I don't know, 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 don't know. Now I'm yelling and I'm screaming and I don't know what I'm saying. Yada yada, yada yada, yada yada, yada. Now it's been 10 minutes.